Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Cloudy here and in today's video I just wanted to quickly show you guys how I keep my projects organized at least to a you know decent degree I group I group groups inside of groups that way it's easier to select groups of things so for example this whole building here I can just click on it um, and say it wasn't inside this X copy mover I can just click right on the six building select objects and now I can move every object on the building all at once or go into this mode to see just the building so it's very simple to navigate around so that's one thing that I wanted to show you two it's add-ons now I'm using an add-on right now let's just check it out so this is it right here it's made by uh, Aman Deep I guess um, and basically what it does is when you click on an object, it will automatically bring you to the collection that it's in. So let's say I click on this building. It's going to bring me to where this object is located. Click on this one. It's going to bring me to where this one is. And it will close any other folder. So like let's say we open you know, all these folders here manually. And we click on this guy. Now it's going to only have this guy open. And all those ones we just previously opened are now closed. So it kind of keeps everything organized and just where you need it. Um, yeah, so that, that's pretty much how that works. Uh, third thing I use is just by using colors. So you can see that in copy mover here on my sixth building, because this is the one I'm currently working on. I just highlight it green and then remove that when I'm done. That way I can immediately scroll through and see which building I'm on. And then inside each building file, you can see we have different colors. So in my main, that's just main big pieces. Windows, that's in Windows. So each window should have a folder in here. Um, and then we have like shutters and awnings. So like any add-on piece kind of thing. And then the main building. So that's kind of how I keep my project organized. But I just found a new thing. And this is kind of, it's kind of a niche thing, but it could be used for a lot of things. So I actually use Booleans a lot. I use them for every single window and usually for every door opening area, at least to make the general shape and then I can clean it up. Um, but a lot of the time for like windows, I won't apply them because they, they get messed with by my simple lattice. Like I showed you guys in the last video. If you guys haven't seen that, go check it out. It's, um, yeah, it basically just goes over everything to do with the free add on simple lattices. But that being said, every single window has one. And the problem is, is when I select everything to export like this over to Unreal Engine, so file export FBX, now it's going to export everything, including all those Booleans. And Unreal doesn't know if the boolean is an actual object or not so it basically just imports it and it's like every window now has a cube over top of it because that's the boolean right so how do we remove that well there's a couple things first off you can go to each boolean so let's say this one right here uh, that is on this window uh, let's just click on this one actually there we go and you can see this is bool 30 okay so i write down every single one I make sure that their name starts with bool. I don't care what it is after bool. It could be bool 50,020. Bool is so awesome. It doesn't matter what the thing is, but it has to start with bool. Okay. And I also make sure every other object doesn't start with bool. Um, so that way it's pretty easy to select them. But this little button here, you guys won't have it. But if you go up to the filter button here, it'll be right here. You just click that on. And then when you click that, you cannot select that object at all in, in the file. So now, technically, it will not show up when you go to export. However, it will still show up in your rendered view. So a good way of seeing if something will be rendered out to Unreal Engine um, as a Boolean-like shape is just go in here because rendered view doesn't hide things um, with the wireframe the way that I hide things. I just go into its wireframe here. Uh, let's go Boolean. And I change its display as to wire. 
So that way in this view, it's not obstructing anything. I can see everything, but in rendered view, it doesn't count that in. It just renders right through it. So a good way to check is to be going in here, but say we don't want it in here. What do we do? Well, you just go down here to show in and you just hit viewport and boom, there it goes. One thing I don't like about this though, is that it's, it gets really confusing to toggle this on and off. So I only recommend doing this like if you're messing with all your colors or something and you really need to. If not, I would keep that on and just uncheck this. That way you can still see where all your booleans are. Um, but do you want to go through all your folders and find all the booleans? Not a chance, right? So what we can do is we can actually type in bool up here in the search bar. But you'll recognize, okay, well, if I don't right click off. If you recognize, it will bring up everything that is bool in it. So every, you can see every object in here, a lot of them have Boolean modifiers, right? So it's going to bring up every single one and you will find the actual Booleans, but you're going to see a bunch of other stuff. We don't want that. So what you want to do is go up to filter and you're going to turn off collections and then, um, turn off object con contents and object children. Now the children one is a little bit like. I, I don't think you even have to remove this, but let's just do both of those. So yours should look like this. Um, after you're done, you're going to re-enable collections. I don't think you really need object contents. It's just kind of like abrasive. So I don't even keep that on just regularly, but we will be turning collections back on after you're done selecting them. But for now, turn off collections and you can see every single Boolean right here. Now there will be some extra ones and those are up to you if those are actual ones that you need to remove or not. But for me, if I click over here on this guy, for example, you can see already, you can see this one's toggling on and off. Uh, I don't know where these are toggling, so I guess I don't have to remove them, but I'll just remove all. What you can do is just click on one and just drag all the way up. Cause you'll notice if you like try to grab on one and then go to another and click it, it won't do anything. So I just recommend just grabbing and just whoop, like so. Okay. And that, that is it. Now what we can do is we can just export and everything should, should just export nicely and not have a bunch of Booleans over everything. So let me go to my file here. Um, what the hell did I just click on? There we go. I just select all objects. I don't really deal with any of this. I guess I could turn off all this. It doesn't really matter. Bake animation doesn't matter. Uh, I could do some things over here, but I only care about apply modifiers. Um, so we'll just do that. Okay. Now we're going to hit here. We're going to re-import and this should re-import with no booleans in sight, which is great because we don't want any of that shit. That, that stuff is annoying, it gets in our way, and but we want it to be still easily selectable. And this way we can just come back into the search bar and just re-grab all these. Now, if you select them like this, it won't select them, okay? So you need to turn it back on and then click it. So just keep that in mind. But for now, that works for me. I can close this menu out and turn the uh, collections button back on, okay? So I hope that was a good little video for you guys. I hope it gave you something that you didn't know. If I have any more info or remember anything, I'll let you guys know. And any other add-ons that I use on a constant basis, I'll try to make a video on. If you guys like the video, please like, comment, subscribe, all that shit, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.